Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. So today we will learn how to use the punch form in sheet metal with a Creo parameter tool. So let us start with a new, uh, go to the sheet metal and just select here the new units. I'll just make this quick settings here, model display and isometric in sketcher. We'll not save it. Okay. So just I will create simple sketch here. Add a 300 mm here also I will add 300 mm this control D to standard orientation and then I will select this planar option just provide the thickness uh, let's say 3 mm and then click OK <coughs> okay so now I want to create a punch here so to create a punch we we'll just go to this form tool and we select this punch form okay so here are some if you select this drop down menu you uh, you will see here some standard punches available in creo so just i will first select this close flat lower form here it will ask for a select a geometry item to define a form placement so it will ask only for a reference so in a placement you need to select a placement where you want to create that punch so just i will select this face here so it will be oriented properly and now this this references from this age i want let's say i want uh, 100 mm Similarly, uh, here you can select this plane also. So just provide this plane, uh, let's say 50 mm. So now it is fully constrained now. Just you can see preview. So the punch is created, the lower is created. Okay, so I will just resume it. You can flip it. So here is a flip, flip option. So you can flip it. So it will be on top now. See here, there's a difference coming here. So the bottom portion is using as a punch. Okay. So this will be the correct for us. And then click OK. Similarly, we will use some different punches available in here. Just select this offset punch. Similarly, select here, select the reference. Just provide this. I will keep it as it is. And then click OK. So here this punch is created. Okay. So if you want to change this dimension of this, then just select on this form. So if I want to change this, some of the radius of rounds of this punch, then select this form two and right click on it, open base model. And now here you can change the dimension. Here is a revolve option available. So you can change this also. So let's say 4 and only and then click OK. So it is change. Okay. It is 3 mm given, we'll take 5 mm. Okay. So now we will we'll just close it.
so here you will see the option that is it turned into yellowish okay so here if you regenerate it it will be green it is regenerated so this part regeneration complete successfully so now this dimension is changed here so similarly if you want to add some user defined punches you need to create a user defined punch so we will just create a new part here with a solid we will create punch let's say punch click ok similarly select the unit so here i will create one simple punch just I will add here uh, 15 mm and now one more feature I will add let's say 25 mm okay just provide the rounds this is uh, 3 mm and also 3 mm so now we will just save it so just save it here on the desktop punch part Sorry, we are not selected the directory, that's why we need to give it a name. So now it is uh, saved there, okay. So we'll just go to this part, and now we will call that punch, my user defined punch, with this punch form option. So we will go to desktop and we saved this as a punch one so we will open it here okay so now here it will ask for a constraints it is same like a merge inheritance option so now i will select coincidence i will give this face and bottom face as a coincidence constraint so select this and select this now it will be coincidence we'll provide one more constraint let's say uh, this age and this age will provide some distance let's say only 50 so it is shifted to 50 mm one more constraint we need to give as this is showing here not fully constrained okay so now one more constraint we will provide this face and this face we will keep this as it is as a coincidence so on that edge okay so now you will see here fully constrained and is turned into dark yellow dark orange you can say okay and now you can see the preview so the punch is created just click ok Similarly, if you want to edit that, you need to open base model. You can change any of the feature here. Let's say 10 mm. You click OK. Now again, you need to regenerate this. So this, this, if you click on this yellow button, it will show these features need to regenerate. So click on regenerate, it will turn into green. Okay, so 
this way the punch is created so thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you